Okay, so this video is on specifically that piece of junk right there. And I say piece of junk because to me, honestly, <laughs> it's what it is. I'm not going to say it's useless. I mean, I probably find some other uses for it, but uh, one of the main purposes I was going to use it, yeah, it's useless because uh, it can't put out a accurate signal to save its ass. And apparently, that's the way it's designed. It's working as it's supposed to. Not working right. And you know, been contact, I contacted uh, Rigel Customer Support USA. Um, the problem I'm having is this is what we want to see down here at the bottom. If you look at the spectrum analyzer. So we're going to be using three pieces of test equipment in this demonstration to demonstrate why that's a piece of junk. Um, it doesn't work properly. But is as they say, working as... Uh, actually, here's, here's the email I got. Um, we have done a little more investigating uh, into why the carrier power level is reduced when the signal is modulated, and we have concluded that our waveform generators are working properly. Our waveform generators are designed to be used in the time domain and will reduce the power levels of carrier when modulation is applied to maintain relatively constant power level of the overall signal. Uh, Whereas with our RF sources, which are designed to be used in the frequency domain and will maintain the same carrier power level when modulation is applied. You know what I say? BS. Um, but that's all I can say. Where in your advertisements, where in your technical literature does it say it cannot be used in the frequency domain? I have several other uh, arbitrary signal generators, and none of them do it. Ah, uh, is it just some mystery specification you have? Uh, so I s assume your calibration certificate is also useless because it's not putting out a calibrated output. But you say it's within spec, so, you know, I don't know. So here's the problem. I operate on a lot of radios, two-way radios specifically. So I'm dealing with uh, AM, several other forms of modulation, but... One of the main modulation types I deal with is AM, or amplitude modulation, which is what we have demonstrated down here on the spectrum analyzer. Okay, we have a carrier in the middle. Okay, now I have both of these signal generators set to output a 30 megahertz uh, signal at minus 30 dBm, um, and I'll vary the modulation, but and turn it on and off. But the whole key here, and the problem that I'm actually having is, when I turn, when I hook this signal generate, generator up, you're going to see the problem. Currently it's hooked up to, yes, I know it's a mouthful, but hey, it's, a, it's German. But uh, Solatron Schlumberger 4040 Stable Lock Communications Test Set Funkenplatz. <laughs> yeah, say that three times fast. But uh, what you'll notice is, nothing happens to the carrier. When I change the modulation percentage or just completely take it away when I remove the carrier so just a, a straight carrier with no modulation what you're going to notice with the carrier is no change whatsoever so a little bit closer there so you can see it so if you can see it's right there right at the minus 30 db scale okay right the, the, the crest of the carrier is right at minus 30 dB, you know, give or take point something. You're going to have loss in the cables and whatnot. So, um, if I turn modulation off, okay, see the carrier? Nothing happens. Doesn't move, doesn't go up, and the spectrum analyzer, of course, just went into calibrate mode. <laughs> okay, it's back again. Um, so you can see. Apply modulation, take modulation away, it's not moving, apply modulation. If I've changed the modulation depth, now let's see. More modulation, yep, carrier still rock solid. More modulation, carrier still rock solid. Actually, I think this one only goes to 90%. Yeah, so. Still, right at minus 30 dB. Hasn't moved. Yeah, we have some crap starting to show up here on the sides. You know, my normal level that I operate on is 30% modulation. So, you know, that would be my normal for uh, when I'm doing alignments and calibrations on radios. 
But like I say, apply modulation, you know, even 50%, doesn't really matter. Like I say, it, 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 it doesn't move. Take the modulation away completely, carrier doesn't move. It's still pretty much rock solid right where it's at. Might drop 0 0.01 dBm, maybe. Yeah, this one's, then again, this is a, yeah, the, the front panel on this thing, probably the keypad cost more than that signal generator up there did. But like I say, I've got several. And this signal generator up here was not advertised as having this problem. And it was also not advertised as not being able to work as a RF signal generator. Um, someone find that in the technical specs for me. I'll take this thing out back and I'll run a 357 bullet through it because bad on me. I didn't read the specs. But nowhere in the spec sheet did that say that could not be used as an RF source. Uh, it's a 100 megahertz signal generator. Uh, 100 megahertz is in the RF signal domain, so yeah, what the hell? So, uh, not to block the camera here. So we'll disconnect the Solatron and we'll hook up. Okay, to the Rigel up here. So coax cable right here, as you can see, straight from one, straight down to the other. Try and get the coax cable out of the way. It's just going to cooperate or not. Stay. <laughs> just wants to be in my way. So, uh, okay, let's see here. We have uh, modulation, and you can see this is what's is now here's 120 percent modulation, and you can see it's at like minus 38 dBm which is a level I'd never use anyhow, 120%. But you can see, as I reduce the modulation, the carrier's coming up. The less modulation, the more... And it, actually, it's weird. You get to 0%, it drops back down. But if I turn the generator, if I turn the modulation function off on the signal generator, you can see the carrier jumps straight up, 30.4 30, 30 dBm. If I turn modulation on, even though the depth is set to 0%, it's down to minus 36 dBm. So actually, it doesn't have any modulation going to it. There's no, no modulation being applied, but it's still dropped to minus 36 dBm. As soon as I apply... Hell, oh, that's in points of a percent. Get this to a round number... That over. Get this back into the tens. There we go. A decimal over. Okay, so there's 10%, 20%, 30%, 10%, 40%, 50 50%, 60%, 70%, 80%, 90%, 100%. But like I say, so you can see as the modulation level changes, the carrier changes. And if you look at the signal, What's telling me it's putting out minus 30 dBm? That's not minus 30 dBm. So, yeah, it's useless. I mean, I'm sure I could sit down. Um, it was going to be a pain in the butt because I work on HF rigs. You know, it might be fine if I was only working on one band in the HF spec. You know, HF spectrum. Um, I could write up a little chart now, a little posty note or something, and hang it somewhere where I would say at 30 megahertz with 30% modulation um, at minus 30 or maybe minus 28 dB or minus 27 dBm output, you actually get the minus 30 that you're looking for. But you know, that would be, that's still a clunky workaround. Having to have a handwritten posty note because the piece of equipment can't put out the proper uh, signal level. So, you know, and like I said, my problem is I work in lots of frequencies. I work in the whole HF spectrum. I mean, I work on a lot of things. I mean, actually, I'm currently working on a instrument cluster for a Chevrolet for a local garage. But, uh, you know, so like I say, I work on a lot of things. But, uh, yeah, that's, to me, it's, the signal generator is useless. I mean, it's, yeah, it's got all kinds of nice, nifty features. I mean... 
yeah, if I was in the medical industry and the automotive industry and how you can do muscle stimulation waveform packages and hell, it probably have a, a goddamn program in there where it'll do your dishes and wash your windows for you. But I'll tell you one thing it won't do, the absolute most simple form of modulation, AM. Yeah, it, it can't do the, the one of the absolute first and the simplest form of modulation packages, AM. And I haven't even tried the other ones, so there may be other bugs in this thing. I may have just run across one of them, so I just thought I'd put this out there. If you're thinking about buying a Rigel generator to do uh, work on radios, forget it. Yeah, it's <laughs> if you try to do alignments using that, it's not going to be you're you're not going to be accurate. You can't do sensitivity tests. You can't do you know, signal meter calibrations with that because yeah, what it says it's putting out, it's lying to you and. Like I say, that's apparently where Eagle says, well, that's the way it's supposed to work. It's not It's not an RF signal generator. It's a digital domain signal source. Well, you show me where in the literature, in your, any of your advertisements, or on your website where it says that piece of equipment is for use only in the digital domain, is not supposed to be used as an RF signal source. Matter of fact, if it was only supposed to be used as an AM signal, or a, as a, a digital signal source and not in the RF spectrum, why then do you have... AM modulation, FM modulation, all types, of all every different form of PSK. You've got every type of RF signal modulation package there is programmed into that in modulation types. If it wasn't designed to be a RF signal generator, then why are there RF signal communications modulation type packages in there? Yeah, that kind of doesn't make sense. It, you know, one one thing uh, doesn't make sense to what the other one's saying. So, yeah, there you go. If you're planning on buying a Rigel to do radio work, forget it. Go find something else. And I'm, honestly, I'm so pissed off right now at the canned reply that I got about, about that that I'm just about ready to take, because I just bought that, I just bought that, and I just bought that, and I've had that, but I'm so pissed off at the moment right now, I'm about ready to take all three of them out back and run either a 338 Lapua or a 50 BMG round through them. Just take them down to the backstop and see how big of a fireball explosion I can get out of them, because that's how pissed off I am. It, a, a signal generator like that can't do the simplest form of modulation. It's just one of those things that makes you go, Arr! So, Rigel, 